The Gordon Center for Research in Medical Education, located in Miami, Florida, is home to a 34,000 square foot state-of-the-art laboratory for the research and development of advanced healthcare education. Their mission, saving lives through simulation technology. It is the culmination of 40 years of practiced and refined techniques to improve patient care and broaden professional experience for physicians and support staff. My name is Al Bruns. I am the Associate Director of Instructor Development and Operations at the Gordon Center for Research and Medical Education, home of Harvey, here in Miami, Florida. We train paramedics, physicians, nurses, and the Army Trauma Training Center. We're now in our auditorium where we provide a lot of our didactic lectures. This room is linked to different parts of our facilities for interactive purposes. Ask the Specialist was on location with Dr. Donald Rosenberg, Professor of Clinical Medicine at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine and the Medical Director of Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. Dr. Rosenberg has been a practicing cardiologist for over 45 years and teaches his students through simulation technology using Harvey, a cardiopulmonary patient simulator. He's squeezing out the, a lot of blood across a normal aortic valve. Dr. Rosenberg believes strongly in teaching the importance of bedside cardiology along with more advanced techniques. This mannequin is named for Dr. Proctor Harvey. He was chief of cardiology at Georgetown and the best auscultator in my opinion in the United States when he was alive. He died at age 89. He did train Dr. Michael Gordon and you know you're in the Michael Gordon Center for Research and Medical Education and it inspired Dr. Gordon to put physical diagnoses and diseases in Harvey. Harvey started with one disease myocardial infarction, and he had to face the President Lyndon B. Johnson. Now this is a medical student of maybe 20 years ago posed for this model. Now he's got close to 30 diseases, and so we keep adding, but we try to keep it generic because obviously medicines change, procedures change. Dr. Harvey, when he told you to approach the patient, he had a 10-finger approach. History, physical, chest x-ray, EKG, and ancillary lab. Well, today, ancillary lab dominates it's all. I'm talking echo, stress echo, uh, nuclear studies, uh, cardiac cath, MRI, CT. We have all of this at our disposal now to make diagnoses. The Gordon Center houses a fully interactive auditorium that is linked to self-learning labs. A full-size mock emergency department housing an actual fire rescue vehicle and car for teaching extrication protocol of trauma victims. The Gordon Center is also the production and manufacturing headquarters of Harvey. In 1981, the first international Harvey went to Japan, and today, Gordon Center programs utilizing Harvey are used in 33 countries on six continents. The educational experience of simulation technology makes the Gordon Center the premier training destination for not only medical educators who bring this comprehensive way of learning to the world, but the students, nurses, armed forces, and emergency personnel that make an impact on the daily lives of people across the globe. 